hoopers. I'm going to do a tutorial today on a couple different versions of the buzz saw. So I'm going to do a tutorial on this version of the buzz saw with the arms crossed and the hands on the inside. And this version of the buzz saw with the arms not crossed and the hands on the outside of the hoop. So I'm going to start with um, what I think is a little bit easier to learn. You're going to need hoops that when held in the hand, they don't touch your chest or your nose. For me, that size is 18 inches, but I'm 5'3 and a quarter, so I'm on the short side. Um, so first of all, you want to practice bringing your hoop up and doing this one turn on the way up and down. So with both hoops, down, up, down, up. And that's, if I can show my hand a little closer, it's just one spin on your, you just lo loosen your grip and do one spin, okay? So once you can do that, going opposite directions, your hoops are gonna spin opposite directions, not the same in this particular instance. So with one hoop up and one hoop down, bring your arms together, initiate that spin, and back up. So when you can start getting fluid with that, when you're at that spin point, just keep them spinning. That's going to require some pumping on your hands. And I'm doing this split time, so they're not both pumping at the same time they're pumping opposite each other, if that makes sense. So, that's the one here. And buzz saw. You do it low, you can do it high. That's one of them. Now if you want to get fancy with that, start putting your thumbs in. I'm still having a little trouble with it, but I find if I hold my hoops this direction first, so that my thumbs are inside, I can sometimes do it on my thumbs, just by tossing the hoops in opposite directions. So when you look at that from the front, it looks like this. So there's that one spin, and sustained, split time. So when you've got your thumbs on the inside, you can also spin the hoops in the same direction to get a different pattern on that buzz saw, if that makes sense. So, opposite directions, same direction. But you still need to move your hands in split time, which is like this, not like this. That will give you that different flower. So, I hope that helps. Let me give you a little bit more on the cross arm spin now. So in this instance, my arms are crossed, my hands are inside the hoop. Now, what I found helpful with this was learning the three beat weave. I've got a tutorial on that. I'm also going to be posting another piece that clarifies the arm movement a bit more. But if you already know the three beat weave, you'll probably not have much trouble getting into this buzz saw. So as you know, three beat weave, you get your thumb spin on either side. Well, if you start your thumb spin here, but instead of bringing the other arm over, you basically just open for thumb spin on both. These hoops are moving in the same direction. If that makes sense. Let me show that to you from the front. So I'm doing a three beat weave. And when I open my thumb here, I 
across my body, I'm going to bring the other hoop over and open it to my thumb as well. So, do that from the side. Three beat weave. Open both thumbs and spin. So there are a couple of variations. I hope that's helpful to you. And happy buzz sign.